Welcome back. In this two-part video series, I am going to explain the routing optimization feature and how to use it. In this first part, I will be showing you how to download your bulk order Excel sheet, fill it out, and upload it back onto your ShipDay account. Before we begin, let's make sure your business type is set up correctly to use the route optimization feature. If we go to the settings and go down to business type, you will see two options, pickup and delivery or delivery only. You will need to choose delivery only and input your business's phone number and address. Delivery only means that your driver is always and only picking up orders from your location. This could be for restaurants, meal prep, and e-commerce deliveries. We assume that the route will start and end at the same place, which is your business's address. Drivers will pick up the order, drop off the order to the customer, and then come straight back to you to pick up more orders. Route optimization will only work correctly if you are set up as a delivery-only business. After you fill in your information, make sure you save your settings at the bottom. Now you are ready to download your bulk order Excel sheet. To do this, you will click on the Orders tab and then the Excel Upload button. Once you are on the screen, click Download. This will download the Excel sheet to your computer. When you open up the file, it will look like this. There are several tabs for you to fill out, and let me explain a little about each of them. We have the order number, which should be different for every customer, the customer's name, their phone number, and their email. This customer email tab is optional. You do not need to put an email if you don't have one or simply don't want to. The delivery address tab is for the customer's address. An important note, if you are in the US or Canada, make sure you put the number, street name, city, and state. If you are outside of the US, make sure you put the country here. If you don't, your map navigation software, like Google Maps, might not give your driver the right location. Next we have the delivery date, which is just that the date the order will be delivered. The delivery time is another optional one. You do not need to put anything here. If you do put something here, we recommend it being the time you want all orders to be delivered and finished by at the end of the day. Item descriptions. You can put whatever it is the customer is ordering. If you are a meal prep business, you can simply put meal prep for every order. For total number of items, this is another one that doesn't have to be exact. The only thing we recommend that you keep in mind is the capacity at which your drivers can hold orders in their cars. If your driver only has enough space for 10 boxes, then that is helpful information to put in this Excel sheet. For total price, this also doesn't have to be an exact amount, however, you do need a number here for the upload to work onto your ShipDay account. You can run into an error if you leave this tab blank, and I will show you what that looks like and how to fix it in a moment. The last tab is the Delivery Instructions tab. This is where you will put an apartment number, the gate code, a call me when you arrive, or something along those lines. Now, let's look at what a completed order form should look like. As you can see, I have every tab filled out except for the customer email and delivery time. Both of these tabs are optional and not needed. For your order to upload successfully onto your ShipDay account, you want to make sure yours looks the same way as mine. If you are missing any other information, your bulk order form will not upload successfully and you will receive an error message explaining what is wrong. For example, if you leave out the total number of items in the first and second row, the error message will look like this. As you can see, it shows the rows where the error occurs and what needs to be fixed. To fix this issue, you simply need to put a number in this space. This goes for any of the other tabs, 
If you leave something blank, you will get an error message when you try to upload the form back into your ShipDay account. We do not upload partial bulk order forms, so in order to do this successfully, make sure you fill out all of the mandatory information. An easy way to fill out this Excel sheet fast is to copy and paste similar information to all of your orders. For example, if your delivery date is the same for every order, you can type that date into the first two rows. It has to be both rows or this won't work. You click on the first one, hold shift, click on the second, and then drag that little plus sign all the way down. This will copy and paste the date onto every single order. This will definitely save you some time. You can do the same for item description and so on and so forth. The first time you fill out this form will definitely be the most difficult. However, once you have it saved to your computer, you can easily go back in and change the information when you have new orders. Once you have your entire Excel sheet filled out correctly, you can save it and then we will upload it back onto your ShipDay account. To do this, make sure you find your way back to the bulk order upload page. As a reminder, you go to the order tab and click on the Excel Upload button. Once you are on this screen, click Upload and find the file that you just created. Hit Save and your Excel sheet will start uploading to your ShipDay account. This should only take about a minute. After you've successfully uploaded your bulk order sheet, you can maneuver over to your Orders tab where you will see all of those orders pop up. From here, you can see a few different things the customer's name, the distance from your business, and you can even see the specific order details. In these order details, you can see all of the information for that order and any specific delivery instructions that you put on the Excel sheet. Also, on the top left, you are able to select all of the orders and you can assign them to a driver or delete them. You can also do this by clicking them individually if you wanted to assign only a few to a driver, or if you wanted to delete any of them for some reason. Another cool thing is if you go to the map, you will be able to see all of the orders. The orange pin is the pickup location, or your business, and the red bubbles are the delivery locations, or your customers. That concludes this first video, where we created our bulk order Excel sheet and uploaded them into our ShipDay account. In the next video, I will be showing you how to create and optimize routes with the orders we just created.